Welcome to Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw. From the city council right into the state legislature. Talk about a segue. Well, that's what Jackie Irwin is experiencing. And she joins us. And uh, how many years in the city council? Like 10? That is 10 years on the Thousand Oak City Council. And now you go to the state legislature. Right. And what's the difference? Well, I, I was elected a year ago. And, it, you know, I love city council, but it is really amazing to be um, a part of the state legislature. It moves very fast. There's an incredible amount of information. With city council, we might consider three things and, and that, uh, know that they're coming up for weeks and, and study them and, and uh, speak to constituents and when you're up in Sacramento the meetings are 20 every 20 minutes oh uh, one day I voted on 54 bills and we ended up uh, the assembly voted on 1800 bills this session so it's it's very difficult to make sure that you stay completely informed on all the issues that are going on but I, I have a great staff and they know that I want to I'm an engineer I, I want data and I want to make sure that I'm making the right decision for uh, the constituents the people of Ventura County and a lot of this uh, data is found on your website so if people want to know about there's a new income tax credit Credit that might be coming up, they can go to your website. You'll have information on that. We are going to, there, this is a very exciting development this year. California has passed the earned income tax credit. There's already an earned income tax credit at, uh, at the federal level. And this is um, an, a tremendous opportunity to really make a dent in poverty. So our office is, is very interested in reaching out to as many people in the district as possible and making sure that they are aware that this in earned income tax credit is available to them. And earn earned income tax credit has bipartisan support. Uh, we had our most progressive member of the assembly carrying the bill, but at the federal level it was actually started under President Ronald Reagan. So Republicans and Democrats both recognize that this is a way to deal with poverty. It, it really aims, it is aimed at the working poor. And is it for small businesses? To, this, is that the incentive for them? No, the, this is this is individuals, individuals. and families um, in California. If you are making under fifteen thousand dollars and you file an, a, a tax return, then then you are eligible for this program. And we will make sure to connect uh, the constituents of the forty fourth district with all the different tax preparation of. Um, uh, days that there are going to be. We have a lot of partners that are going to work with us to make sure that we get as many people that are eligible signed up. And this is for the very lowest income mm -hmm. working people. And they'll be able to pay for, for food and they'll be able to pay for child care. And, and we think it's going to make a huge impact. Um, you know, the middle class is shrinking. Uh, wagers are stagnating in spite of the fact that the economy has been uh, rebounding. So this is a way really to, in a pinpointed way, uh, deal with poverty. Is it effective 2015, 2016? Uh, right now, I th both years, and we'll see if it continues. It was included in the federal budget every every year. That uh, that's a question, but I think it's been in place for 35 years. And um, the unfortunate thing in California is that uh, California is one of the most undersubscribed states in the nation. So um, we are leaving $1.8 billion on the table, $1.8 billion that could be claimed by our residents. So just because people don't know about it? People or? don't know about it. So what we would really like to do is have people call our office, uh, go to our website, and we can direct them to um, people that are willing to do tax uh, preparation for um, low-income folks and uh, make sure that they get the money that they're entitled to. I mean, this is money that will be going into the community it, and, and bringing people up. So um, it is going to be a huge effort for us through March to get as many people in Ventura County signed up, to get them to, you know, we, there, there is even, you can, you can claim for three years back. So there are oh, people that are willing to, retroactive. yeah, that people are willing to volunteer to help uh, help our residents claim what's owed to them. Assemblymember Jackie Irwin, thank you so much for joining us here on Local Edition. I'm Bella Shaw.